Let's think about all the animals on this planet. We all have different ways of interpreting color. Something that might appear purple to me might be pink or green to another animal. Generally, it's black from artists, but today I've got the color out. Yeah. And the reason for that is because we all have different photoreceptors in our eyes. Uh, we happen to have, as, as human, between two and three photoreceptors. Actually, between two and four. Uh, but the most common number is three. It's typically the blue, the green, and the red photoreceptors. People who are colorblind have two of the three, and it depends on what kind of colorblind you are. And then there's a subset of humans called tetrachromat who have four. And uh, it's very hard to find out who's a tetrachromat because everything that humans build is built for people who see in three colors. You had once talked about the mantis shrimp. Yes. And I, I love this story. This is really, really cool. Talk about something otherworldly. So mantis shrimps are actually my favorite animal. Uh, you can actually eat them. You find them on uh, you know, seafood markets in, in Asia, for example. But when you look at them, um, they're actually very, very colorful and they have these very, very interesting eyes. And uh, you'd be interested to know that they have the most complex uh, eye system in the animal kingdom. They have between 12 and 16 photoreceptors. We only have three, remember? But what's interesting about them is that they, they're very tiny, so they have tiny brains, so who knows what they see. So that's great for the animal world, but what about us humans? Our optics are a little bit different. How we measure and um, apply color comes in different ways. So we have the digital world where we use RGB, uh, red, green, blue. And then we have the physical world where we apply colors using CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And these are key to um, making two different systems that have consistent color throughout and can ultimately connect our brand story without uh, inconsistencies. So if all of this conversation about colors is interesting to you and you're thinking about becoming a CMF designer, you can do a test online called the Farnsworth Munsell Test. It's a hue test. Basically, it gives you the first color and the second color. And you have to find you know, the 10 or, or 12 colors that go in between. It's very, very sensitive. You really have to be um, paying attention to the very, very subtle differences between each of the steps. So yeah, start there. It's pretty fun.